Hello friends, welcome back to Beast Student Blog. Uh, in this uh, series of uh, VMware Horizon training sessions, we will be looking at uh, VMware Horizon free tools which are available at uh, VMware site. So uh, let's like quickly jump on and uh, discuss and uh, do some lab work. So let me take you to the VMware site where they are available. So uh, flings.vmware.com uh, is the site. Uh, uh, in my previous videos, uh, I already discussed on this. Uh, like, uh, so this is the site uh, where uh, VMware engineers uh, uh, they 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 uh, develop the tools, free tools uh, for us, and uh, they will upload it here. You are able to see uh, available tools for uh, uh, for a um, lot of products. If you see here, like uh, VMware vCenter, Horizon, ESX Box like a lo lot of tools available for each uh, each, each product and uh, in this video we'll be looking at a VMware Horizon so let's go here we have 23 flings available related to VMware Horizon so out of these we'll be looking at uh, one or two so uh, you can uh, like when you have some time just uh, try to install each and every comp uh, available flings and uh, um, take the advantage and uh, reduce your work and uh, make uh, the you make your environment more uh, uh, what do you call uh, more uh, uh, accurate so like uh, image like you can get down your work like uh, imager like using the single VM uh, you can create them um, uh, like uh, imager will create um, uh, like VMs and uh, install update OS installing applications agents everything it will take care of it so using the horizon network label uh, SS assignment uh, it will like uh, as the description says it helps to admin it helps administrator to deploy large pools with a single parent of vm or template by enabling to set up multiple network labels so it's like that so we can see here we have uh, almost 23 products available out of these uh, we'll be discussing about uh, uh, horizon event notifier which is very much uh, helpful and the second one is like uh, vmware horizon uh, help desk utility so this is uh, pretty simple you need to accept the license and uh, download it so you can install it on uh, on desktops uh, for the help desk guys uh, who who frequently access the vm horizon admin console and uh, tries to help the end users uh, so he is the contributor uh, who developed this tool so uh, we already downloaded it so let's go to our uh, server so we can install it on a laptop but i installed it on one of the servers so this is the installer pretty simple just click next next and finish once done just double click the icon the icon will be available when it installation is completed so this is the login screen where you need to provide the server url this is the URL for my connection server and I am using uh, HView admin and password and this is the domain controller which I am using like dc.com just click on logon once you click that one what happens is uh, you will be able to see an horizon help desk uh, pop up come up uh, saying that uh, you are successfully connected to the URL which you for CS server connection server so you can see here when you double click it uh, it will pop up and uh, it will show the available missions uh, online uh, like let let me uh, brief about all so what is the advantage why why we already have an um, uh, browser browser based uh, based uh, uh, admin console why you are using this so the advantage is like uh, browser will disconnect uh, after some time and you need to log in again but uh, this one what happens is when you close this one close this console uh, it will be still available uh, um, and when you right click uh, when you click on it uh, it will pop up and it will connect and it will frequently uh, refreshes the screen and uh, uh, whatever you are able to do it on admin console you can do it here based on the privileges you have so here it will displays like it will shows the uh, like how many missions how many sessions everything so I already connected with uh, an user so so here if you see here desktop pools uh, you have how many pools you have 
in the environment the towel will be listed here and uh, display name status uh, what type of pool what is the source uh, uh, like a uh, user assignment everything will be how many machines are uh, active how many sessions are connected everything will be listed here if any machine is having problem that will be available here like that will be visible here and if you go to the connection server it will list all connection servers version how many users connected everything will be available here and it will also shows the vcenter uh, details like uh, vcenter name uh, what are the version of the vcenter what is the version of vcenter status everything uh, like uh, and even uh, host esxa boxes how many esxa boxes are there what is the version uh, so cluster name everything and data store details also it will be listing uh, along with the uh, like uh, how much space available uh, looking at it if uh, you are running out of space so uh, you can immediately add the space so and also like uh, if you see here uh, one second let me see user is connected okay So here uh, previously we don't have any session but now we are able to see one session if you double click the pool uh, it will be giving more granularity for the details if you see one session number of machines active so this is the machine active and uh, this is the user connected uh, so what uh, we can do is uh, if somebody we want to see this user uh, details like you can see the uh, client details, uh, session details, uh, connection details, machine details like what is the version of OS, uh, uh, on which ESX box is hosted and what is the assigned memory, CPU, everything, machine info like you have all details related to the machine, uh, vCenter, everything here and even image information is also like uh, available here you can see image name, snapshot name, everything and uh, uh, like who all have access details and even applications what is the what are the applications used by uh, the user on the server if you see here uh, um, I opened a uh, browser and um, calculator uh, and the same thing I'm able to see here if uh, user says that his application is in uh, in non-responsive state you can see here and you can just directly right click and end process process so that uh, that uh, a particular uh, session a particular application will be will be terminated so even you can see the process what all the process are running what is the memory utilization cpu utilization everything everything will be available and even you can log off uh, like uh, uh, you can uh, right click here or even you have an option let me select this user okay where is that You can reboot this uh, machine if you want so somewhere it will be you can do the reboot of uh, that particular uh, machine from here itself uh, let me grab that somewhere it should be okay okay we need to search the So, so here, yeah. So we can log off this session user. Like for example, the user you need to disconnect or reboot his laptop. Uh, sorry, reboot his VDI. So uh, just select this one and uh, you click on log off. The user will be logged off. Or uh, you can send a message assist. If you click on assist, uh, what happens is uh, user will get a pop up uh, uh, saying that. Uh, administrator is trying to uh, request some uh, like RDP session something like that uh, so just we need to wait for some time so it will give a uh, pop-up for the user uh,
so if you see here uh, uh, a pop-up is coming for the user if you click uh, ok uh, like uh, the admin can see the console uh, so it will take some time uh, so this is a lab so we'll proceed and uh, we can also restart the VDI clicking restart uh, once you click the restart uh, VDI will reboot so everything can be done from here and uh, you can see the um, like a complete uh, uh, dashboard here uh, so this is the one very good tool which is very much helpful so apart from that uh, we have one more that is uh, uh, yeah we discussed on that that is like uh, uh, the event viewer like let's let it be there and horizon event notifier so this is also like a uh, useful uh, uh, really useful so you need to simply download the zip file and uh, no need to install this uh, will have uh, three files uh, so out of these two are important so when you double click this uh, uh, what happens is it will show like once you go to the settings and give the details like name of the like uh, you give the name a db server name and uh, username a db name password everything and you should give the smtp server uh, uh, like uh, server name or whatever it is like uh, uh, whatever you have you have to give that and uh, you need to put the send from like a uh, horizon even notifier at the rate uh, some uh, student blog dot com something like that uh, you need to put and uh, to whom you need to get the alerts you need to put the uh, dls or mail ids followed by comma multiple you can do that and you need to save the changes you can test it so actually i don't have a uh, uh, like database server for my events or else i would have shown you it's pretty simple so even i tested it and even i am using it in my lab and even on the production once you do it and uh, save it uh, whenever something for example due to some issue your uh, your floating pool got disabled it will generate a alert and it will send a mail immediately once uh, uh, with that uh, mail, uh, with that alert so you will get a mail and uh, you will be able to quickly log in and uh, fix that issue and uh, enable the pool so if if you don't have this one or any monitoring then uh, it will be disabled or it will some issue if occurs like uh, you don't know and uh, and uh, there will be a production impact so the drawback for this application is like uh, you must keep the session active like if you go to uh, if you log out uh, your session what happens is uh, this will closes so even a um, couple of uh, people like uh, they, they, they asked uh, so is there any option we can um, uh, do it like this whenever i logging off uh, this is getting closed so do you have any option they said there is no option for now but uh, simply you can what you can do is uh, you can disconnect the session your rdp session and uh, that will be active till uh, uh, any patching happen and reboot uh, uh, then you have to make sure that next time when you log in you need to make it uh, um, just need to run it uh, no need to configure every time but just make sure to run it and uh, keep it like that apart from that uh, this is a good tool okay so uh, yeah and uh, we have lot but uh, uh, we'll be like i just thought of sharing this uh, uh, like um, for a while i was not doing any videos but uh, so i came up with a few helpful things like if you see here vmware logon monitor which uh, um, uh, which shows uh, and uh, some which creates uh, and monitors users but this was already integrated in the uh, production uh, like a uh, uh, production what do you call uh, the in actual vmware horizon uh, 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 product so if you see here you can see the functionality of this fling is included by default with horizon 7.1 starting from 7.1 they already added it so no need to install it separately until there is any specific uh, need for you uh, so we have lot so all are mostly helpful based on their uh, environments so just uh, go through them use them and uh, enjoy the products 
so that's all for this video i hope uh, you guys enjoyed it uh, please do subscribe and like my videos for any queries and uh, suggestions you can always reach out to me on uh, vstudentblog at gmail.com thank you have a great day bye bye